Is Kevin De Bruyne the best player of the week that they've ever released? Or what about Vinny Jr.? We're going to find that out with a full review. I'm also going to open my last spin. Let's get straight into it. What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And we are ready to rock and roll with our free spin as well as our player of the week review for all of these cards. So we've already done the event. We've already opened three. And we've opened multiple across multiple accounts, but we have not got the Bruyne or the Vinny Jr. We have our free spin from the events that we played against the AI, and now we're ready to open it. But I'm just going to give a quick review. I mean, are the Bruyne and Vinny Jr. two of the best cards they've ever released with the booster? And lads, 37% of you guys that are watching this video, you might be one of them, will not be subscribed to the channel. So if you want to help me out, I'm going to be grinding more. There's some massive things coming in the future that you won't want to miss. If you're looking for eFootball content, please do hit that subscribe button and let's get back to the video. It, it remains to be seen, man. It remains to be seen. There's a couple of talking points I want to get into Vinicius Jr. about. Um, De Bruyne as well. We'll have a couple of talking points with them, but just to go through this very quickly, I'm not going to waste your time. I'm not going to waste my time. This guy, I mean, basically is a starter player. I'm not going to get into him too much. You can't train these players. There's nothing to really talk about. They are what you see here is what you get, okay? Um, Adley, I actually spun him on my other profile, and I have a feeling that I could be seeing him again in a minute when I open my last one. But again, this guy is just a traditional creative playmaker. Doesn't have great acceleration or balance if you're looking for a little bit of pop going forward. Creatively, he's okay. I mean, his low pass doesn't go into 90s. None of his stats go into 90 apart from the ball control, which is a bit of a bust for me. We also have Alex Hamburger here, as I call him. Acceleration, balance, type position, all average for a player that's going to be on your right sided. I would probably play him attack and midfielder, but then he doesn't have the passing for that. So again, he's a bit of a bust. He has one touch passing, double touch. But I think the rest of it, I mean, there's just so many cards on man, unless you're a real newcomer. We also got Silva as a center back. Obviously, he's on A rating, as all these players are for the player of the week. But I feel like this card is probably a worse version of cards of his that they've released before, okay? Now, he does have blocker and interception, but that's not enough, in my opinion, to change the dial as to my opinion on him. Of course, we also have Lopez. That he looks like he's shivering with the cold. We're all shivering at the moment, bro. So get over it. But 90 speed with the manager boost. We've also got 90 finishing for a center forward is decent. Acceleration is pretty decent. He's kind of a good starter CF, right? We also have a good starter CF with Latara Martinez. Run and gun. Fits the meta. Is a good starting point to learn what works in the game. And also, even though his speed is only 80 with the manager boost and acceleration is not into the 90s or anything, he's actually fun to play with. He plays way above his stats. All of these cards of Martinez can score you goals, especially if you're doing AI sim matches or anything like that. We also have Luke De Jong, who scored a hat-trick last weekend, so that's why he gets his player of the week. He's down as a target man. It won't suit everybody. It's not going to be a card for everybody. It's kind of like King Collar. He does have aerial superiority, first-time shot, acrobatic finishing, heading, and super sub. So that tells you exactly how you should be playing him, boys. You should be playing him as your, you know, main head man. <laughs> no, honestly, you should be using him as, as, as an aerial tread, honestly. Um, finishing and heading is quite strong. Pace is just not there. I mean, he's as slow as anything. So he's a bit of a bust unless you play into his strengths. We also have Romani here as well. Pretty decent extra front man. Speed and acceleration is okay. He actually gets a booster. Physically, he's going to be a very, very strong player. Um, defensively, he's going to be very solid as well with two stats into the 90s. And he gets the plus three that's tied to his rating. Um, we also have Donnarumma before we get to the big boys course, which is a decent version of Donnarumma if you've never had another version of him. But I still think the GP version. Don't spin this pack for any player here. Literally, you should only be spinning it to get one of these two boys. Honestly, that's all you should be doing. Now, let's talk about Vinny Jr., right? Is he one of the best player of the weeks that they have released? I would say with the booster, he's kind of up there. I do feel that Vinny Jr. actually, forgetting about stats, if somebody looks at him and looks at his stats and looks at ball control, dribbling, finishing, acceleration, all into the 90s, I think they're going to, you know, get carried away and say, yeah, he's an absolute beast. He is a beast. And he is a beast, okay? He is a beast. I mean, he's a 98 center forward. Um, that's going to get the manager boost as well. That'll bring him up to like 99, 100, whatever depending on what manager that you use. But I think the big problem with Vinicius Jr., personally for me, is that the gameplay itself has kind of nerfed him. Messi is another example of this as well, right? 
if you've been using Messi for a couple of weeks and all of a sudden you find that Messi is just drifting to true, true games, he's not really doing anything for you, and then he can explode and score a good goal, right? I don't think the consistency is there with a couple of players at the moment that they've kind of, I think, stealthily nerfed, right? Now, the only way to test if a player is stealthily nerfed is if you play a lot of games and you play a lot of the same system and you just kind of rinse and repeat what you're doing to the point where you're saying, well, Messi would have scored this. Messi hit the post instead of this. They do hidden kind of stuff, you know, stuff in terms of buffs and nerfs. Some players can feel amazing one week. Some players can feel really poor other weeks, right? For me personally at the moment, I think that uh, Son is probably the best player in the game for me going forward, right? Vinicius will be playing in that kind of similar position. Um, so I do think that while this Vinicius Jr. is kind of like a Romario replacement, if you are looking for that or if a Romario uh alternative if you don't have Romario or one of the Messi's or one of your superstars like Romanegi, Eto, any of those run and gun epics, right? Including Michael Owen, any of those. Vinicius Jr. does have beastly stats, but just be careful because I do feel like they have nerfed his card a little bit. Even with the booster, I feel that he is missing one or two things. Now he's got double touch, flip flap and soul control. He'll have the ball roll. He'll feel extremely silky on the ball. But just, I feel he's just a little bit below. It's kind of like Cruyff for me. It's, it's a bit of a personal thing. Cruyff is an amazing, amazing player. Vinicius is an amazing, amazing player. But I feel like there's just something kind of... There's something missing with him if you want to kind of switch up your play and play a little bit of possession mixed with, you know, meta. Or if you play a lot of meta, it's hard to see um, just exactly where a player will fit in for somebody that doesn't play meta. So it is kind of difficult. But yeah, it's a phenomenal card. I think one of the best that they have released. Um, and it is if you do get him. I mean, I definitely want to pack him uh, to try him out in stream later. We also have Kevin De Bruyne. Again, I asked that question. Is De Bruyne one of the best player of the weeks that they've ever released? I'm going to have to say... No, I think he's too slow. I think he's not where the game is at at the moment, even for the average player that's just going to go on and play casually. Now, I actually played a co-op match last night with one of my buddies, and uh, we actually conceded two goals against De Bruyne from long-range shooting, okay? So I do feel that De Bruyne will fit into the mode that if you are using a blitz curler player and you shoot a lot, you will feel that Salah and Son, as I have just said, Son is probably my favorite player at the moment to use. Um... De Bruyne, you really have to feed into his stats. I do think he has the potential to be a beast for you if you use the system. It's like collar for me. Every player can have that. His card itself with the plus three is phenomenal. But I feel like with the passing at the moment, this card is artificially higher than it needs to be. Because his low pass could be 90 instead of like 97 for the low, or the low pass. And it could be, you know, pretty much the same in terms of the gameplay and the animations, right? Speed and acceleration are fine if you're using him up there. Um, but I do feel like his speed off the ball and on the ball is slightly marred by the fact that he doesn't have anything in the 80s. The big one for me, I think, here is the fact that his dribbling, you can't really dribble with him tightly, um, more so than you could with the likes of Vinicius, or even if you're using any other attacking midfielder. Even the free Soundcrass and lads has been beasting and keeping Cruyff out of the squad for me. So I do think that this Kevin De Bruyne has potential to be a brilliant player for you, but I feel like he's a little bit too slow. Now, am I wrong? Let me know. I could be wrong, but let me know. So that's it, lads. We're going to spin our last one here. Hopefully we get De Bruyne. Hopefully we get Vinny Jr. But in reality, we'll probably get Adley. Or Aldi, as we like to call him. Little or Aldi, we're probably going to get. Let me get De Bruyne, baby. Come on, it's been a long road. We've been simming the AI games. We've been trying to get somebody in. And there we go again. I told you that we'd get Aldi, lads. Oh, my God. The budget man, Aldi. We have got him. Lads, I'm sick, man. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of not getting De Bruyne. We have two profiles fully done now that we can't get him. But anyway, we'll be back in the stream later on. We'll be doing a live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it.